Hi, my name is Aiden. I am nine years old, and I love sports, especially football and baseball. Yeah. And I'm Andrea Ellis. I'm the Director of Strategic Learning at the Kansas City Public Library, and I love books and films and great conversation. And together we are the two, two A's. A's. <laughs> we also really love Kansas City, and we love the Kansas City Public Library, and we came together just to share with you a sneak peek into the interests and lives of those who bring the Kansas City Public Library to life. Hi, I'm Aiden, and this is my mom, and today we're going to be asking you a few questions, so let's get cooking! All right. What work did the 10-year-old Jim want to do? I either wanted to be a Major League Baseball player, because <laughs> <laughs> we used to play wiffle ball in the backyard of my house with the neighbors. Uh, you know, I bet we played eight hours a day in the summer. If we weren't playing baseball, we were playing Star Wars, and we were riding around on our bikes and I thought gosh it would be great to be a pilot so what do you like or love about Kansas City what I've always loved about Kansas City is the mix of things and the mix of people um, it's always been a place no matter where I've gone in the world uh, you could find you know many of those things here in Kansas City and um, the other thing I think I like about Kansas City is it's 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 pretty laid back you know, it's, it can be cosmopolitan, it can be, um, you know, we can get all excited about sports and there's lots of music and whatnot, but at the same time, everybody's really welcoming and, and I like that about Kansas City. What unexpected knowledge or experience do you have that you'd be willing to share? Well, you know, before I worked in the library, I worked 25 years in public education. I also am a professional musician. Every once in a while, I get the opportunity to play, and I play woodwinds, and I play jazz piano, so. <laughs> yep. There was a convention one time in town. It's my favorite job that I ever played, and I played in the orchestra that backed up Ray Charles, believe it or not. And uh, he didn't come to the rehearsal, which was kind of strange, but not, you know. But I didn't get to meet him because we got together, we got ready, the downbeat hit, and then he came walking out and he did his thing and then he left. Um, but uh, yeah, those, are, those have been some pretty, uh, pretty heady times when I got to do things like that. What is your favorite things to cook or something that you like to eat? And I'm going to try and guess. <laughs> okay, uh, you, you charcoal? To make this, you can ask questions. Um, what's a charcoal? <laughs> what's charcoal? Questions. You use a grill, a charcoal grill. A kebab, a burger, a hot dog. There you go, a burger. <laughs> you guessed it on one. <laughs> he figured that if I go through all of them, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Kebabs are good though. Kebabs are really good. Tell us about a song that had an impact on your life. A song? A song. Probably the most important song is a song that my wife and I chose for our wedding. It's a song that's, uh, the title is More. There's a version that the Count Basie Orchestra does with Frank Sinatra, and that was my song uh, for my wife and I at our wedding. How does it, it go? Goes, it goes, more than the greatest love the world has known. And so Aiden's checking out on that one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that, that one didn't catch I'm, I'm not supposed to know everything. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So our last question is, what question would you ask our next guest? Being a musician, I'm always interested in what people, what kind of music they listen to. You know, sometimes people look at me and they say, well, what kind of music do you listen to? And they think, oh, he probably listens to classical music, you know, that kind of thing. And then when they hear that I listen to everything from hip hop to world music to you know, to whatever, they go, really, you listen to that stuff? I think it also is a pleasant surprise when you find out what people are interested in and what they listen to and it, and it connects you to them better. So yeah, I would be interested in what people are, <clears throat> what music they're listening to. Two A's, sign out.